Well, hi there. Welcome to Wassel Woodworking. On today's episode, we're going to be making a few plaques for the Eagle Point Railway. Um, the organization I belong to up there uh, decided we would give a few plaques out to some individuals to show our appreciation for the hard work over the years. And so I took some pieces of mahogany, uh, 7 by 11 inches, and I milled them up and got them all ready. And then ran them onto the CNC using my laser to cut in a design and uh, the, the words on the plaque. So this came out great, and it was a great application for this. So let's see how that's done. So the first process is to cut it to width, and I've already done that here, and now I'm cutting it to length. So I'm gonna square up the one edge. I'm gonna take the board and flip it over and cut it to its final dimensions of seven by 11. Now normally I wouldn't round over the edges until I get done with the project, so that way I can sure everything's centered. But in this case, using the laser, I have to make sure that I get everything done because the laser only cuts so deep. So any scratches I can't necessarily sand out, or not very easily. So in this case, I'm taking it and rounding it over, doing three different passes until I finally get it complete. So using that same guidance, the next thing I need to do is sand everything and basically get everything complete before I start cutting into it with the laser. So I'm sanding the front with 220 grit paper to get rid of all the planar lines. And um, once I get done with that, it's off to the laser. As you can see here, started a few seconds late and I'm running this uh, clip of the video at 25 times speed and all that noise you hear in the background is are the stepper motors running back and forth uh, when they crank up the speed, they really sound kind of odd. As you can see, it's got a little graphic at the top and then the you know, award statement, which is nice. And um, it's just running along. It probably took 15 minutes in reality for all this to occur, but uh, it was great because I could just change the name and continue on. So on the flip side, I want to uh, write my uh, name. So in this case, I put Wassel working on the date. Um, same thing as on the other side, using the laser to etch it in. And once that's complete, I then have to make something so it can be held up onto a wall should someone choose to do that. So I use a keyhole router bit to run a line about two inches long. This allows you to put a screw in the wall and then hang it on that screw. And that only takes about uh, 30 seconds to complete. So the light's not the best here, but I'm using Minwaxed Fast Drying Polyurethane in the gloss finish. So I've sprayed them all and I'm gonna let them dry. The first coat takes the longest and I'll probably put four coats per side to where they're finished and then let them cure for a few days before I hand them out. That is the finishing. Well, thanks for watching this episode. I appreciate you taking a look at it and I'd like to thank the new viewers over the last few months. I've uh, obtained a lot more viewers and I appreciate you all signing up. It gives me a lot more energy to move forward on this. So the plaques turned out great, all four of them, and uh, I'm gonna be giving them out this Saturday. Um, so if you got any questions about this, hey, put the questions down below, I'll be sure to answer you. Uh, there's a lot of things you could ask about the setup on the CNC with using the laser. But um, also, if you aren't signed up and you thought this was a good video and you'd like to see more like this, I got a whole bunch more on this site, uh, sign up today, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell next to, to be notified whenever I put up a new video, which occurs about once every two weeks. So anyway, I'll see you next time on Wassel Woodworking.